Good afternoon everyone, you are looking at Super Typhoon Vong Fong or Bagyong Ompong, the strongest tropical cyclone since Super Typhoon Haiyan or Bagyong Yolanda of November of last year 2013. Uh, this is our latest update on this tropical cyclone on this Wednesday afternoon, October 8th, 2014. And again, we continue to watch this system just rapidly intensify over the Philippine Sea. Good thing it's peaking right now far away from land, uh, unlike Haiyan, which uh, fortunately made landfall in the Philippines as a very strong uh, Category 5 Super Typhoon. Now, Super Typhoon Wangfong right now is in the middle of the Philippine Sea, so uh, good news <clears throat> so far is that the system isn't really uh, directly impacting any land areas, as you can see in this latest visible satellite image. You can see the location of this typhoon uh, compared to uh, the island of Okinawa in Japan and also its relation to the Philippine Islands, as you can see here, west of the uh, system. Uh, Vongfeng was last located approximately 980 kilometers south southeast of the island of Okinawa, or about 1,060 kilometers east of the city of uh, Apari in the uh, province of Cagayan in northern Philippines. Maximum sustained winds, according to the Japan Meteorological Agency, are 215 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 305 kilometers per hour. Now, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center uses the one-minute sustained winds and have a slight uh, have uh, higher wind estimates compared to the JMA, putting Wang Fong at 285 kilometers per hour sustained, with gusts of up to 350 kilometers per hour, making Wang Fong a Category 5 Super Typhoon. Again the strongest cyclone uh, since Super Typhoon High End of 2013 and also the minimum pressure from the JMA the lowest since uh, again uh, High End of last year. But the system is currently moving west-northwestward. It has slowed down uh, over the past 24 hours. Uh, sign that the subtropical ridge is beginning to weaken and the system is actually rounding that ridge. We expect Wang Feng to start turning more to the north over the next 24 hours. And here you're looking at the latest enhanced infrared satellite shot of Wang Fong. And I uh, just want to point out, we uh, so far on this latest image, we have seen a warming of the uh, of the cloud tops here. We no longer see the yellow, which indicate really cold cloud tops around negative 80 degrees Celsius. Right now, it's only about negative 70 degrees, uh, which means this is this, the, the convection has, uh, has weakened slightly. And we are also starting to see some impingement on the northeastern side of the storm. All in all, the latest signs point out that Wang Fong may have reached its peak over the Philippine Sea, which again is very good news for the people living in the southern Japanese islands. Uh, we are still expecting Wang Fong to pose a serious threat uh, to Japan over the next few days, but uh, again, uh, very likely that the system will uh, continue to weaken uh, over the next uh, two to three days. Now as far as the track goes, uh, you can see here the cluster of the computer model outputs from earlier this morning. The general consensus is that the storm will turn northward. Uh, but uh, the timing of the turn and also how far west it will go is still pretty much up in the air. You can see some models tracking it west of the island of Okinawa, or some of them are tracking it east of Okinawa. Uh, the consensus, obviously, is that you can see here Joint Typhoon Warning Center taking the middle track here and forecasting Wang Fong to move just east of Okinawa, but will likely move near the island of Amami as you move into Saturday and into Sunday. And as I said before, uh, even though the system is uh, turning away from the Philippines, its impacts are still being felt, especially across Luzon. Looking at the latest infrared image, you can see those rain clouds moving over southern Luzon, particularly over Bicol region. Also parts of Visayas and Palawan could see some rains. This is due to the uh, southwesterly inflow. Uh, you can see moisture streaming in into the circulation of Fong Fong, and that is inducing some rainfall, light to moderate rains. Uh, across the area, We're expecting around 100 to maybe as much as 200 millimeters uh, over the next two to three days. Here, uh, eventually, those rains will start pushing northward as Fong Fong moves into southern Japan. Now, speaking of the typhoon's movement, here we have the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's latest warning track. 
And again, the consensus is that Vuong Fong should start turning north uh, later tonight and or possibly into tomorrow. Uh, it will maintain its Super Typhoon Category 5 strength for at least another 24 hours before it starts to weaken below that threshold. Now the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, as you can see here, uh, taking Vuong Fong east of, uh, east of the island of Okinawa, between the island of Okinawa and the Daito Islands, by Saturday morning. Uh, however, the islands of Okinawa and the rest of the Ryukyu Islands are still under that forecast cone of error. In fact, the latest JTWC track is taking uh, Vuong Fong very near the island of Amami as you move into Saturday and Sunday morning perhaps maintaining a category three a category two maybe even category three strength at that point and also looking farther into that uh, say Sunday and into Monday joint typhoon warning center expecting Vong Fong to continue moving northward perhaps threatening the island of Kyushu still maintaining that strong typhoon intensity in comparison here is Japan meteorological agency's latest forecast track for Vong Fong and as you may have noticed they are slightly east of the track compared to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, uh, JTWC has it much closer to the islands, whereas JMA actually moving it east of the island of Daitojima. Uh, still, uh, again, the islands of Okinawa and Amami are still under that forecast cone of error. Um, as we move into the day uh, four and five here, Sunday and into Monday, you can see JMA actually tracking it east of Kyushu, perhaps moving into the island of Shikoku uh, around the time frame. Also JMA expecting Wong Fong to maintain that very strong typhoon intensity as you move into the weekend. So still, uh, lots of uh, lots of uncertainty and uh, in the forecast, especially for the UQs. So again, anyone living in those areas, we urge to please stay on top of this storm and always heed, heed the warnings of your local officials. If anything, tropical storm force winds are still likely uh, for Okinawa and the rest of the islands. And in fact, looking at one of the computer model outputs, uh, one of the many, uh, here we have the uh, HWRF model and here you can see on this, uh, I'm, I'm highlighting the location of the island of Okinawa and you can see the red shadings here, that indicates typhoon force winds. Um, so if you move that a little bit to the west, Okinawa could see winds of up to 160 kilometers per hour. If you move it a little bit to the east, uh, they may experience uh, lighter winds. But overall, stormy conditions should still impact the island, especially the island of Amami and eventually uh, Kyushu and Shikoku, uh, beginning Friday evening with the peak uh, stormy conditions uh, from Saturday morning and perhaps lasting into Sunday. Aside from the strong winds, we are also expecting torrential amounts of rainfall and also the threat of high waves again we can't ex uh, we can't stress that enough as we've seen with fanfin uh, last week uh, swept three u.s airmen uh, over here in the island of okinawa so a very dangerous typhoon uh, bearing its uh, bearing down on the uh, japanese islands here and that concludes our video update for this afternoon again uh, make sure to stay on top of this storm we'll continue to put out updates uh, here on our website westernpacificweather.com and also on our blog we still have time to prepare for this and uh, again hopefully our viewers uh, especially in Okinawa and the rest of the so southern Japanese islands uh, heed the warnings and uh, again I actually start uh, making preparations as early as of this time and uh, as always stay safe and uh, see you in our next update